Good evening, welcome to We Repair. Um, so tonight I am working on my own personal GTX 1080. Um, this is a Founders Edition card, which most of you will be familiar with. Um, it has recently started to play Silly Monkeys, um, complaining about heating and all sorts of other things. So I think it's probably just cut to the point in its life where it needs a good clean and it needs the thermal place replaced. Um, so I'm gonna run through how to do that this evening. Um, I'm just going to work on replacing the thermal paste and giving it a clean, so I'm not going to strip the whole thing down just to the point I need to get to. Right, so let's crack on. A lot of these screw holes are fake, so don't be unscrewing them because you're not going to get very far. There are specific ones you need to undo. Um, we're going to be removing this section. First thing we do need to do is take the metal bracket off, or rather just release it so that we can actually get to the um, the plate that we're going to strip off. So we'll get on and get that done. So first thing we're going to do on the back here, hopefully you can see it, we're going to um, unscrew these two screws that hold uh, around by the display port, not display port, DVI or even. So we'll just quickly get that done. And then next thing we're going to do is work our way through all the little screws in the back there are quite a few of them. They are size specific, but it's quite obvious as to what uh, is what. So we will get that done. So we'll just start working from one side to the other. Just removing them all as we go. Nothing overly complicated. All we're trying to do is just loosen the bracket up. We're not going to completely remove it. Just so that I can very easily Get that front cover off. One more screw. We'll just do that one off camera because it's a little bit tight. And we'll come back. Okay, now we've got our front bucket bracket nice and loose, as you can see. I'll turn this one over and we want to just undo these four screws on the bottom. Hopefully, they're not too bad. You do need quite a lot of downward force to do them. Just take them out as we go. And last one. And this is the thing that's holding the heat sink on from the other side. Doesn't sound the nicest, but it does the job. Right. Uh, next we need a hexagonal bit, so the screws we're interested in are the two on the top just here and here, and the two on either side, uh, all of them are the same, take the same bit, so just quickly do those four, there's two out, number three, and last but not least, number four. So all we need to just release this bit. If you were going further, then there's a few more we'd unscrew. Okay, and then this piece just lifts up and away from you like that. There's our heat sink. So next thing we need to do is get this out. It's only holding my thermal paste. In fact, that's just not tight at all. And you can probably see there that thermal paste looks like it's a little bit scummy and has had it its day. So you can see that the that is quite gunked up. Um, it's not going to be giving good airflow to it at all. So what I'm going to do off camera, I'm going to take this out and give this card a really good blast out. Um, I've got an air gun that I use um, 
for, for cleaning this sort of stuff, which will do a really good job of it. So I will pause here and then give this a really good clean down. And then in a minute, I will come back to you and you can see how it looks and we'll get it reassembled. Right, and we are now back. Hopefully you can see that it's a damn sight better. Let me just try and bring the light around this side so you can see. That is all now nicely cleaned up. I've had the heat sink all out cleaned, cleaned in through here. I've cleaned all these fins. So this is now lovely and tidy, no gunk. Right, next thing we're gonna do get some thermal paste on here. So this is some nice Cooler Master stuff, nothing too posh. Just gonna pop a little bit on here. Does not need loads because it is gonna spread out a hell of a lot. So just go very light on it. If anything, that's possibly a little bit too much. Let's just take a bit off there. Okay, that's fine. So let's get our heatsink back in first of all. Um, so first thing we're going to do, slot this in this way round. Drop that into place just nicely. Hopefully, let's just have a flick on here. Everything should line up and it does. So we're going to get our screws back in. Would have really helped if I had my screwdriver ready, let's be honest. Let's just pop this down so I can do that. Okay. And what we'll do, just to keep the pressure even, we'll do opposing corners to start with. And hopefully, if everything is in the right place, it should go. There we go. That's perfect. That's two in. And now that's the heatsink held. So hopefully now everything else should sit into place just nicely if I don't drop the screws. Do this one, gorge, and then the last one. And there we go, that's that fixed back into place. That looks a damn sight cleaner already. Let's grab our top piece. So again, this slides back that way and then pushes down. Um, so let's get that hooked back in. So two, two silver screws to the top black screws to the sides. There's one, and here's two. And then we'll just quickly do my black screws, which sit on either side. There's one. Oops. And then number two. And then the last thing I've got to do is just to fix those rear screws in on the rear metal bracket. But being as you can watch anyone screw a screw in, I'm not going to inflict that on you. So effectively that is it. I have replaced the thermal paste and given this card a really good clean. I've shown you how to take the brackets off. Um, it is very straightforward to do as I hope you have, uh, have seen and you will attempt to, to do your own uh, after a few years of use it definitely needed it but there we go anyway if you've got any questions uh, please leave me a comment and uh, i will always do my best to respond as as i can if you want to ask anything about the cards if there's anything you want to see please uh, please just ask in the comments and i'll do my best to reply otherwise uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video